music. Music. Hello. This is not the Lawrence Welk Show. This is Music Show. And we've got a good one ahead. We've got Josh Jones of Skeletons. Uh, this just in, Skeletons have changed the name of their band to the Evangelicals. And there's nothing in my ear. Todd went to Guest Room Records to see what's going on. Let's go to it. I'm here with Travis and Justin. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Um, guys, uh, since Valentine's Day is around the corner, um, do you guys have any recommendations maybe for CDs people can buy for their sweetheart or you know, better half this, this upcoming Valentine's Day? Well, the, the Go Team is really, really good. It's kind of hard to come by and uh, very dancey and catchy. And I think it's for everybody. Uh, is that like a techno thing or is it not? No, it's not. It's not. It's how would you awesome sound 70s soundtrack stuff. Um, right, right. With like a garage band sort of feel. To, I don't know. It's awesome. Cool, it's hard to cool. describe and there's nobody doing that. Go team. Go, yeah, team. go team is awesome. Uh, Arcade Fire is really good. Uh, it's orchestrated indie rock, I guess, and it's very sweet and it's good for your for your lady friend or gentleman gentleman friend. Love making music. Yes. <laughs> or is it just kind of rocking out music? Uh, it's 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 a little rocking, it's but it's sweet love making music. Yeah, right, right. you can make it's, some sweet love. Yeah. It, I think you're gonna have a cute kid if you if you, <laughs> you do it to that to that C day. Do you guys have any uh, word on maybe a Lionel Richie album coming out soon, or possibly a DeBarge uh, box set? I would have to go uh, look in the bathroom to tell you the truth. I think to to find out. If good answer. Release, good answer. Release information. The very on white that. singles collection is a. Uh, Excellent and always available. Always though. picks up sales in uh, in the beginning part of February as well. It's cool. Yeah. All right. We'll have to we'll have to look out for that. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank thanks. you. All right. We're joined now by Josh Jones of the Skeletons. And Josh, thanks for joining us. All right, man. It's 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 good to be here. This is great. Um, tell me, uh, you, you just kind of back in Norman. You were down in Austin, uh, and uh, your band's played a handful of shows. You've already got a CD coming out. Tell me about the about the CD. Well, you know, I, I, I'm i from Norman, and then, but I haven't lived here in, in, in uh, four years or so, so I came back to, um, to uh, put my stuff in a place for a while while I went out on, as, a, as a roadie for these bands, and so um, it, it turned out that since I was spending a lot of time here, I just decided to sort of start up a band, and, and, and instead of being a roadie for a band, uh, actually maybe be in the band myself, yeah. Right, awesome. and uh, and that band, the, the Skeletons. Uh, you yeah. guys had your your first show. You opened up the uh, the Flaming Lips tribute, and then you had a show with the Prids. Tell me about that show. The 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 Prids. Well, the, the Flaming Lips show was really was really something else. Uh, that was that was a big success, I think, for all the bands involved. It was a, that was really cool. And the Prids show, boy, I tell you that the Prids are a really cool band. But that show, it was on the uh, it was on the. What I say is probably the worst night that it could have possibly been on of the entire year, of, of the 365 days. It was the day of that horrible ice storm, the day after OU got beat in the Orange Bowl, and so I don't think people were in a mood to come out. But, but I give credit to the, Norman, uh, to the Norman music fans, and we actually had quite a few people show up, so, so it was nice. It was nice for everyone to come out on such a horrible, wretched <laughs> day, yeah. And the show went off uh, without a hitch? I think so. You know, those first shows, you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes, boy, you don't know if someone's going to get nervous and, and start crying on stage or something. You, boy, you mess up. <laughs> you didn't start crying. crying. I didn't start crying. <laughs> Good. And the guys I play with, J James Spake and uh, Austin Stevens, who couldn't be here today, but yeah, they they. They're good musicians, and they, they, know what's, they know what's going on. So no crying was involved, which good, is good. Good, yeah. There's no crying in rock and roll or baseball. There's no crying in rock and roll. <laughs> There's no crying in rock and roll. And uh, tell me, you were a roadie for uh, Mooney Suzuki. Yeah. Uh, how's that work out? I mean, what's the lifestyle like for, for a roadie on a European tour? Well, you know, the, uh, it's, the Mooney Suzuki, uh, they're on a major label, and so there's a lot of... There's a lot of f fine dining and, and things that are that are going on, so it's nice. It's not like touring with with my band or something, you know, sort of eating bologna. It's 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 pretty fun. It's it's actually a lot of fun, and uh, I would say being being a roadie in a band is actually quite a bit easier than than being in the band itself. I get to sort of goof around, and they have to you know maintain the image. You know, <laughs> I, <laughs> I can walk around in my pajamas and not care. You know? And you almost, uh, you said they had a little 
turmoil in the band. You were almost stepped up to uh, play. What well, happened with that? yeah, there was, there was a brief moment where I was the Mooney Suzuki bass player, and uh, but it, ne never for any shows. It was just people were getting shifted around. The, the Mooney Suzuki, they have a, a bass player revolving door sort of system, and uh, but yeah, I, I never made the stage debut though. <laughs> but yeah, you know. You know the songs, you know, being a roadie, you're sort of there and you hear the songs every night and you sort of learn them whether or not you want to. So, yeah, boy. And you've got some side projects, too. Uh, tell me about some of those. Well, let's see. Um, I just, we just got finished with, with Bo uh, Jennings and Ryan Lindsay, who you had in here, I guess, last time. Last yeah. time, that, from Cheyenne. And uh, we did a Christmas CD with those guys and called Big Love Hospital, and that was really cool. And I'm also... Uh, doing a band with um, Dennis Coyne and some other guys called Star Death and White Dwarfs and that's gonna be cool and, and loud and then then you got skeletons so yeah cool uh, you're busy you're not too busy though to play a few songs uh, for us right no I, I love to play a few songs you know this is great because you get a chance to you know sometimes when you play a live show you're really really loud and and sort of crazy and and playing playing soft sweet acoustic music uh, really I think yeah, it's a nice thing for the All right. really, the song gets a chance to to show itself maybe a little bit better better than it would. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, let's uh, listen to it. So yeah, this is a, a song called "Hello Jen" about overstepping boundaries with your friends of the yeah. It 
looks like I've cracked a bomb. Well, it looks like I'm the mess again. But I'm okay. Oh, I'm okay. That's okay Oh, that's okay I'm okay Yeah, I'm okay Okay, Norman, this is a, a song called um, Here Comes Trouble, and it's about, yeah, it's about getting getting into trouble with, with the man. Yeah. Okay, here we go.
up, get up, get up, get up, get up, and get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, and get up, get up, get up, and get on the run. Hey, if you like that, Josh will be back later in the show to play us out. Now, stay tuned because coming up right now is your favorite segment What's in Your CD Player? Foo! Q U I N C Y T A Y L O R, and I'm listening to classical music called Kingdom Melodies. C R I S T Y M U R R Y, and I'm listening to Eminem, the Eminem show. T O N Y, last name R O B E R T S. Right now in my car, I'm listening to Nurse with Wound Rock and Roll Station. J E S S I C A M I M S. Oh, what was I supposed to say next? <laughs> and I'm listening to Nora Jones right now. S P E N C E R A R D. And um, I'm listening to Avril Lavigne because I think that's the good music to listen to. And now it's time for the compact, compact disc review. We take one minute and look at a uh, newish CD. This week we're taking a look at Loretta Lynn, Van Leer Rose. Right. Produced and arranged by Jack White. Loretta Lynn, a relatively new artist. <laughs> right. Um, haven't heard much from her lately. No, she's old, 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 old school. Old school country, which I was raised on. Me so too. I love this stuff. Yeah, I was, you know, partial towards it. Mm -hmm. Hearing the steel guitar, comparing it to I'm a sucker for the still guitar. Yeah. The New Country, this just blows anything away. Um, very good album. I enjoyed uh, the Jack White compositions. And I thought it was put together well. Um, Loretta Lynn, she's classic. She's something. And, uh, you know, I, I loved her when she was doing her thing with Conway Twitty. Mm -hmm. May he rest in peace. He used to live right here in Norman. I didn't know that. Yes. I like the stuff with Jack White, too. Uh, one of the stronger songs, too, I thought was uh, uh, Portland, Oregon, mm -hmm. which uh, Jack duets on. Portland, Oregon and Slow Jim Fizz. If that ain't that love. Club, I don't know what it is. Oh, you know that, that was, sound. That was the fastest minute <laughs> I've ever been a part that of. That comedic trumpet sound means it's time to uh, give it the grade on the CD. Of course, zero Grammys is excellent. Mm -hmm. Five Grammys, not Terrible. so good. So I'm going to give this CD one and a half Grammys. Jay, what do you got? It's impressive, one and a half Grammys. Um, I, I wanted to mention my favorite song was High on a Mountaintop also. Good song, good gospel. I, my, how many Grammys I gave it, there we go. I gave it two Grammys. Very good CD, not a classic, two Grammys, solid. There you go. All right, this is the round table. Thanks for not changing the channel yet. We've got <laughs> Todd, Justin, and Beth here. Uh, all right, first, Subject, touring bands that you haven't seen that you want to see. Beth? Um, I've heard U2 puts on a great show. I'd like to see them. Justin? Butthole Surfers, Ministry. All right. Good choice. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Beck, I'd like to see Beck. We have Beck, uh, too. Coldplay. And, yeah, I miss Beck. You know, last time he was in town, which I think was never, so. He's <laughs> been to Tulsa. Oh, at Tulsa, yeah, yeah, that's right. I saw him in 97. 97? Well, the Flaming Lips said that next time they tour with Beck, they would come to Oklahoma City. Really? Liar. They told me that. They told me. Yeah. That's nice. I'd like to see that show. <laughs> I have to go with Beck, too. All right, Madonna, <clears throat> 80s, 90s, now. I'm going to go with early 90s was her best stuff. The, the recent uh, song about America where she was rapping, it really, really didn't work. I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, 90s. Why? Late nineties. Late nineties. Uh, just because it had, it actually had more of a techno feel and some just really cool uh, writing. She kind of just came into her own. That's where she was wearing the cowboy hat, right? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm just to be different. I'm gonna say the the, the early eighties. Lucky Star, Like a Virgin. I think that was her edgiest stuff. You know, I think that was. It's great. So I take all my drinks. <laughs> Like a virgin? <laughs> no, I like her early, uh, early right. stuff as well. Early yeah. night Bands. Stuff. Overrated or underrated? Properly rated. You two? Um, I think they're properly rated. Under Overrated. Overrated. Way overrated. overrated. Yeah. You two way overrated. Yeah. I think they're underrated. Or I think they're appreciated by a lot of people who are dire fans, but I don't think they're, I think because of their age and they've been around for so long that I think that, you know. I've never heard anybody say, I hate you two. I, I, I hate never heard anybody. I, 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 I just. 
You've heard people say that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. I have. Yeah. All right. They don't I know hate squad too. about music, but you know. Right. Okay, Aerosmith. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I would say <laughs> she this. She starts laughing. <laughs> I would say this. I think that they have been around a long time. They are definitely hardworking guys. Uh, we'll point out that their only number one song was Don't Want to Miss a Thing, which was in Armageddon, which is really surprising. So because it's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, I know that's sad that that was their only number one right. song, so maybe they are underrated. I don't know. Well, Grateful Dead only had enough one number one, too. Right. Really? Again, yeah. wow. with the overrated bands <laughs> here. Oh, Crazy. You're going to have enemies. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in Oklahoma, Anybody else right? want to chime uh, in? I think they're... I think they put out some good stuff, but you know, everything that they do now is just it's kind of the same. Yeah. It's kind of the same old, same old. You know, they can make their money and tour and all that stuff, but maybe they should just stop making records yeah. and just tour. So the people really want to listen to them will go out and watch them. <laughs> Franz Ferdinand. I was very disappointed. I downloaded the whole CD after I heard their um, single that's been most popular, and I, I believe they're overrated. Justin. Underrated. Underrated? Yeah, Mercury Award. I think they're probably rated right now. I think their sophomore effort will let us know a little bit more about them. They put on a great live show too. Talk. I think they're really cool from what I've heard. I've only heard two of their songs, but I like their stuff. And but you know, as for I like to listen to the whole record sure. before I pass judgment. But Modest Mouse. Modest Mouse. I've heard their single. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, I, I've heard I've heard good and bad things about it, but their single I'm not crazy about it. I haven't listened to the rest of the record. Justin says it's brilliant. Justin underrated. He says it's yeah. weird. You know, it's I like that weird. kind of stuff. It's good. Yeah. It's pushing boundaries. Why am I on a music show? It's, it's <laughs> weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say Modest Mouse is better than Franz Ferdinand. All right. So that's properly rated. That. That's properly rated. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, last subject, Ashley Simpson. Why is she doing halftime shows? Why is she making music? After the Saturday, Saturday Night Live issue, people know what she's up to. They know what she's about. I don't know why she's still selling records. She's about to go on tour. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't watch Saturday Night Live. I don't watch halftime shows. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it all. But you have the Ashley Simpson CD. I do. Oh. God, eight of them. I use them as coasters, though. So it's not really like in the player. It's not a rotation. I, I think she was uh, pretty much. I think that whole halftime show was pretty much her trying to prove, like after the Saturday Night Live in, or incident, that she was capable of putting on a good show, and it totally backfired in her yeah. face. Yeah. And. It was embarrassing. Stage. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. Keep singing through the booze. B O O Z. Yeah, the, yeah, the B O O Z. Gotcha. All right, that's the round table. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Andy, guess what? What? Grateful Dead never had a number one hit. I know. They had one top 40 hit. That's what I meant. Yeah. Good try. Thanks for playing. All right. If you want to be on the show, if you have any comments, suggestions, complaints, please email us at notthelawrencewelkshow at hotmail.com. That's notthelawrencewelkshow at hotmail.com. Josh Jones from the Now Evangelicals uh, is going to see you out the door. Thanks for watching. Be good. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, goodbye, Norman. <laughs> this is a song called uh, My Headache. I guess it's a sort of about uh, this, um, I mean, maybe sort of the thing is like you sort of, some, someone that, that you love a lot or, or a relationship with or your brother or your sister or something has some sort of, uh, I guess, a degenerative, degenerative disease and they uh, yeah, are slowly fading away. Well, she loves to crawl up the top real high Loves to wave as the people go by Loves to perform acrobatic tricks Flies through the air and leaves us on sticks She came through the door with lightning and shocks Flew back my head off my socks Now closing my eyes Now I'm hearing red Oh no My head That 
that's my headache That's my love And when I wake up I'll be problems with rage gone today cause they took her away I sat there and cried but we have to abide by the rules they said oh no my head that's my headache That's my love And when I wake up I'll be my love and when